So Pearson finally decided to make some changes to the PT Academic. Well, in this video, uh, we're going to go over all these changes one by one, question by question. And uh, I'm going to tell you whether these changes are positive or negative. I have some good news for you at the end of this video. You don't need to fast forward now. Wait, stick to the end of the video and I'll tell you what that is. So let's go and take a look at the changes that Pearson has made. This is the overall changes in time. Personal introduction has not changed. It was one minute before. It is still the same, no change. Part one, which is speaking and writing, used to be 77 to 93 minutes. That was the longest part of the exam, but now it's approximately 54 to 67 minutes. That's a significant shrinkage of the time. Reading is part two, and you can see that it has not changed dramatically. It used to be 32 to 41 minutes, but now it's approximately 29 to 30 minutes. The optional break that used to be there is now removed in the new version. And part three, which is listening, used to be 45 to 57 minutes. And again, there is a dramatic decrease in time when it comes to the listening section. And of course, the number of questions, but we'll get into that a bit later. Now it's approximately 30 to 43 minutes. So the overall testing time changed from approximately three hours to approximately two hours. Now, let's go and take a look at each of these one by one. In the speaking and writing, you can see that uh, personal introduction remains uh, the same. It is unchanged. Read aloud uh, was 67 and is still the same. Repeat sentence was 10 to 12, still no change. But describe image used to be six to seven questions, but now you will have three to four questions. Retell lecture went from three to four questions to only one to two questions. And answer short question uh, was almost cut in half. So 10 to 12 questions was reduced to five to six questions. And summarize written text, two to three questions changed to one to two, but write essay remained the same. And uh, the question range was 39 to 48, but the new version has 28 to 36 questions. How about the reading section? How did this change? Well, as you can see on the screen, fit in the blanks reading and writing was five to six and it remains unchanged. Multiple choice, multiple answers was two to three questions, but fortunately it was reduced to one to two. Reorder paragraph, no change. Reading fit in the blanks, no change. Multiple choice single answer also went down from two to three questions to one to two questions. So the question range was 15 to 20, but the new version uh, has 13 to 18 questions. Let's take a look at the listening section now. The listening section shows the biggest changes actually. Summarized spoken text used to be two to three, but now it is one to two questions. And that's a big difference in time because as you know, every question takes 10 minutes. Multiple choice, multiple answers went down from two to three to one or two. Listening fit in the blanks unchanged. Highlight correct summary, multiple choice, single answer and select missing words. All of those went down from two to three questions to one to two questions. And as you can see, highlight incorrect words and write from dictation remained unchanged. So the question range was 17 to 25, but the new version has 12 to 20 questions. All right, now that we know the changes in the PT academic, do I think these are positive or negative? I for one believe that these are absolutely positive for a number of reasons. Well, firstly, and most importantly, thank you so much Pearson for doing this. Candidates can finally spend time on the questions that actually matter, the questions that make a difference. Not those multiple choice questions that are just there like extras in a movie. So far, new PTE 1, old PTE 0. Another reason that I think Pearson has made a very, very good choice by making the changes is that the test is much shorter now. It used to be three hours, now it's about two hours. So for some students who get easily tired, who do not have a very good physical stamina, this is the perfect news. For some students, it was a nightmare, like sitting down for three hours could be really challenging, but now it's two hours or even less, depending on how you manage your time. 
Yet another reason why I think Pearson has made a wise choice uh, to make these changes is that the optional brake has been removed. Of course, it was optional, but still, the thought of knowing that you have a brake could be a bit distracting. But now with a two hour version, you can just sit down, focus and finish the exam in one go. So about the good news that I promised at the beginning of the video, well, I'm gonna come to you on a weekly basis in 2022. So I will come to you once a week with any updates of the questions, like if there are any new questions in read aloud, any new questions in repeat sentence, describe image, retell lecture, summarize written text, write essays, or if any new questions come up, uh, if my students report any new questions, I'll just come back to you. And knowing this helps you stay ahead of the game. All right. Now, if you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do it because uh, I don't want you to miss out on any of the future videos that I make. And uh, don't forget to share the video with your friends. Don't forget to like. You can do it like in a fraction of a second really quick. That's it. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. Uh, keep an eye on the channel and the videos that I make, especially the weekly PT update videos. And uh, hopefully all of you will celebrate your success very, very soon. 2022 will be an amazing year, I'm sure, I have no doubt. And um, more of you will come back to me with good news that you have passed your tests. Thank you so much, see you soon.